Good morning everybody and welcome back to body tone number 11. Bright and early, half past eight on a Saturday morning. So let's get going and let's make sure we warm up, march it out. So I haven't done anything this morning yet, so I'm gonna have to make sure that I'm as warm as everybody else. Let's use the arms, take them up and over, keep it going. That's it. And here you'll dig forward. Superb, how is everybody doing today? So what are we on now? I couldn't even tell you we're, what week we're in. I think we're in end of week eight, is it? Side to side, out. So now we know that nothing's going to be going back in the way of <coughs> gyms for at least another six weeks. So we're going to keep going, everybody. Keep moving, warm it all up. Remember, if you can, maybe go for a walk, do something beforehand to warm yourselves up. And up and down. That's it. Step touch. Left it. Superb. And curl those legs. Lift them up. Nice and high. Come on. Remember, we've got to get that warm. We've got to get the heart rate up. We've got to get the muscles working, knees up. Take the arms over. So this is your body 10 plus. So this is one way you need either a weight or a kettlebell. Especially the number of people who actually do have quite a selection of weights. When they've come and messaged me, saying, oh, I've done this one with this and this. I didn't know you all had such hidden um, cupboards. Double step, lift. That's the one. Come on, keep going, keep going. Knees up again. That's it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and step it. Bring those arms right up. Come on. Remember, if you use those arms, you get the heart rates up higher, quicker. Everything will get moving. Four, three, two, and march on the spot. And tap it back, tap it behind. That's it. Little moves back. Six, five, four, three, two, march you. And ready? You're just going to give you a little set of lunges. Keeping those backs up, keeping the shoulders back, and pushing forward. That's the one. Come on, eight more. Eight, seven. So I'm going to work today with a kettlebell because I'm just pushing it that little bit more. My small weight's a little bit too small, but my large weight is a bit too big. So I'm going with the kettlebell, which is that standard four, which I usually use on my Monday evening classes. Four, three, two, and up, up, down, up, down, four, three, Two, ready, now let's go with that little squat and an overhead. This is actually gonna come in in the exercises as well. That's it. Remember those squats always warm you up. Four, three, two, and. Okay, so I'm gonna make a move, but please make sure that if you don't feel warmed up, just do a few more minutes of those and then come back in and join us. So I'm going to go with that kettlebell and I'm going to start with a swing which you can do with weights or just on your arms. With your arms, make sure you obviously do not let go of that weight. That would be a good thing, wouldn't it? Take a kettlebell through the trifold doors here. I would very much not be a popular person then. So I'll face that in front of this one. This is quite a good one also for making sure that you're fully warmed up. If you're using a weight or a kettlebell, only bring the weight up to the shoulder level. So you're squatting down, make sure you swing back, hips back, bend those knees, take those knees back, take the hips back. Keep the knees behind the toes. Excellent, keep going. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two. Now hold that weight and pull. So you 
working those shoulders, working those arms, bringing that weight in and out. Whew. That's me warm now. I have remembered to actually open some windows at the moment. So hopefully I'll get some air in soon. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and bring it down. So take whatever weight you're gonna use. We're gonna work one side only and then repeat it all on the other side. So we're gonna start with a side arm raise. So remember, you're lifting it up. If you wanna make it harder, you can straighten that arm. But a four and a straight arm for me, it's a little bit too much, but come on, let's work these delts. Just because we're in lockdown doesn't mean to say we're all gonna to need to lose this definition that we've all worked so hard to get. Come on. Give me four more. Keep the kettlebell or the weight in that hand. Two. And curtsy back. So you're curtsying just like as if you have a world team in front of you and you're literally taking that foot behind you. So again, you've done all these moves. All I've done is just put them together in a different order. <coughs> I'm sure um, we seem to be whispering today unless I've actually lost my voice. Come on, all the way back, that's it. Keep you going. Seven, six, five. We're gonna hold the leg in a minute. Four, three, two, now hold back, stay in that curtsy and lift that arm up and down. I was meant to have done this recording yesterday, but the sun came out, which is always a bad thing for in here. I'd already done a little workout for myself, been on a walk with William and the dog, done the Joe Wicks, and I thought, do you know, I'm gonna hold this for today, otherwise I would have done nothing today. That's it. Lift it up and down. Eight. Seven, keep that back leg bent. Six, five, four to go. Four, three, two, and come up. Weight goes down, and you're gonna go with a side bend down. So we've worked everything on that side. Obviously, we will repeat it now on the other side. Over we go. Try to get that weight. Uh, there's a William come out of bed and sort of wobble down the stairs a little bit. He's there now. Four, three, two, one, and up. Perfect. I will already put the weight in the other hand. You certainly feel these arms working now. And all the way up and down. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know when you all do them, but let's get on with them. Come on. Eight. Seven, six, five, four to go. Four, three, two, and bring it there. Let's take that leg back. So you've got that little curtsy lunge, taking that foot behind, all the way down. Excellent. Now, piece of advice, ladies, do not go anywhere near Queen's Park. I took William and the dog for a long walk over there a couple of days ago, and I think everybody was there. Social distancing was going out the window. I want to get back to work as much as everybody else, but please, watch those rules. So, we walked over, looked, took one look, and walked back out again. It's a good walk, though. The dog was absolutely jiggered. Four, three, two, hold it back, ready, and bicep curl, up to the shoulder, down to the hip bone, come on, all the way up, and down. We are only on the second set of exercises, I've got a whole class plans, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, and you've got four to go, four, three, two, Come up and bend. Drop it over. That's the word. Come on, lean it over. Make sure you're bending at the waist. Get those obliques working. Eight, seven, 
six, five, got four more. And then we're gonna bring the weight up, whatever weight, all your hands, and you're just gonna keep them in front of you. And you're gonna go, weight up, one leg, other leg. So, alternating a lunge, a uh, side squat, side to side, remember to bend both knees, only moving one leg at a time, but you are bending both. Get those hips right back. Can't emphasize enough, squats, such good exercises. Come on, keep those thighs down here. That's it. Keep going, keep going. Push, lift, push, and lift. Eight, seven. So we're gonna keep going with the squats. We've got four more, and we're going to do a double moving squat, and we're going to incorporate upright rows. Ready, set, drop, lift, drop, lift. So you can either do one arm each way, or double arms both ways. So on. Well, this is one way to wake up on a Saturday morning, isn't it? I haven't had any breakfast yet. Yeah. Have that afterwards. Down we go, down we go. I want you to keep going on this one. Really good exercises. You've got your hips working, you've got your glutes working, thighs are working, front and back. Shoulders are working, chest is working, heart rate is going up. Two more. And finish in the middle. Ready, one arm, up. So we're going to start with the arm on its own. Then we're going to incorporate a narrow squat. So still then, working those legs as well. Ready? So we're going to go up, drop, up, drop, up. Try and keep that weight relatively close to the head. Push your hips right back. Four. Three, two, now take it down, let's swap it over, and arm on its own first, lift, all the way up, lift it up nice and high, keeping it relatively close to the head. So hopefully you're all feeling okay, I've heard of one or two people that have come down with the virus, but luckily most of them seem to have recovered. Got a few side effects, so keep well everybody. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And now I want you to add. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold up. Double hands, take it back into an extension. Take it down, all the way, drop it down. So remember, down to the lower part of the neck. Drop, lift. And eight, seven, six, I'm going up to halfway by now. Four, three, two, are you ready? Come back into a lunge. Moving lunge, back, gosh, look at this, got a sweater. You know, now what I want you to do is just to incorporate a little bit of a row. So <coughs> you may need to just lean forward a little bit in order to row the arm up and down. So remember, you're pulling the arm up as you come up out of the lunge. Down, come up, down, come up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold there. So you're in your lunge, make sure, nice and hold, ready, static lunge, keep the weight low, the weight is going to come back in, in a few moments. Drop, and down. Eight, seven, bend both knees, 
on the toes on the back foot. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Hold there. Lean forward. Kick it back. So we've got those arms working again. You're extending that arm out. Try and get it nice and straight. Keep both knees bent. Try and hold in the lunge. You'll feel that in the glute. How are we doing? How are we doing? Up. Up we go. Just four more. Four. Three. Two. Now, come up. Squeeze it up. Oh, you're going to feel that one in that other leg. Feel it in that bum. Four. Three. Two. And down we go. Drop into a deadlift. Down. Stretch it all out in order to put it onto the other side. I like the comments I got yesterday. We had a wine delivery made yesterday. So what is it? The wine fairy has been? The wine, wine ambulance. Like an ambulance, but a wine. That, that was a good one, Maria. I quite like that one. Especially from a teetotaler. Uh, that's it. No, and they haven't been drunk. It was, it is going to last more than one night. I know what some of you think. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And let's go. Back with that lunge. So you've moved the arm, you've swapped arms, and we're now working the other arm with the um, row and the other leg with the lunge. Whew. Quite peckish now. Must be soon a bit time for breakfast. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ready, hold back, and static lunge. Oh, being told how long. Ah, yes, so just over halfway now, come on. We can do this. Another ten minutes. And we'll be done. Just think, we'll use those calories up. We will work it out. It's about 400 steps in one of these classes. Not sure how many calories that will equate to. That's the Fitbit. I've had to put the Fitbit back on. This one doesn't tell me as much. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Now hold there. Lean forward. Get that arm up. Come on. We don't want those bingo wings. Sure, all of us are beginning to get them, but let's get rid of them. Come on. You need to work a little bit every day to keep them moving. Eight, seven, six, five. Give me four more. Four, three, two. Come up and squeeze that leg up into a glute squeeze. Whoops. And off I go. Nearly there. So we've got some moving side lunges to do, and we've got a little bit of basic squatting to do, and we're on the floor, and we've got the abs. Four, three, two, ready, and moving out into a moving side lunge. So I know we did a deadlift, but that's in between the two, so I wasn't repeating the deadlift. We didn't need to do a double set of deadlifts. Ready? So what I want you to do now is pull the arm up. So we're working the rear delt. So this, usually we do opposite. I'm not doing opposite, I'm doing the same side. So you really go for those shoulders. I've noticed my shoulders have really lost some of their definition. That's because not, I'm not doing the pumps that I normally do. Come on, four, four, three, two, one and swap it, drop, make sure your technique's correct, feet are equal, up, one knee is bending, one leg is straight, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold there, basic, drop. 
So I haven't done that many basics. We've done basic, we've done some swinging, but not so many basics. Flat. Four, three. We're just going to go one more little set, then we're on the floor. So squat and twist. Squat, over. Squat, over. Over, down, over. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lift it up. Superb. Okay, so if you've got a mat, grab that mat, grab a towel, grab a towel. Otherwise, let's go. There we go, onto the floor. And we're going to start with a little set of press ups. Now, remember, your press ups can be done easy on the knees, you can take them back, or you can go harder into the full press ups. So let's go down, drop up. So hands are nice and wide, open the chest up. Eight. Seven, six, five, we can go into full press ups or bring the knees in. Three, two, now give me a little set of in and out supermans. So back is nice and straight, arm is going out. Really good for those abs and your balance. Four, three, two, one, swap, up, down, up, and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop, elbows, and lift those feet and hold. This makes a change. Normally I'll get William trying to sit on the top of me. Down to the head. Down, up. Keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now bring that weight, bring it to the chest, lift those legs, and give you a slow, easy windmill. Twisting the legs to one side and the arms to the other. All the way down. And that's it. Keep moving. Down we go. Four. Three. Two. Ready. And come up. And if you want, go into a little set starting with the weights. You can pulse it up, or obviously you can lose the weight and just go with the hands. Up, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now bring it up, hold it there, drop it back to that point where your abs engage, and drop down, up. Down, nicely relaxed with the shoulders, head is back, no stress on the neck. Four, three, two, one, take it all the way back. Come on, we're going to do And give me one set of oblique overs on one side only. Take it over. And four, three, Two, one, other side, over we go. That's it, keep it going. Four, three, oh, we've got a few minutes yet. Yeah. Then let's go with those legs then. Up, up we go. Maybe we could have done a longer plank. Four, three. Two, and other side, up, up we 
good. And four, three, two. Ready? Give me some basic crunches. Now remember those rules. Look up to the ceiling. Tilt that head back. Give me a gap under the chin. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take those elbows wide and let's go. Alternating elbow to knee. Over we go. And four, three, two. Now take those hands and if you can, arc the hands, knee over, side to side. That's it. It's quite interesting actually, when you're lying on your back, you can look out your windows. Normally we're discussing what the marks are on the studio ceiling, but I've got all sorts outside. Four, three, two, one basic set. Last one, so we've got two more sets, that's all we're doing. So, eight, seven, come on, really squeeze it up. And four, three, two. Now, last ones, let's go. Doubles. So, both elbows to both knees. Head comes up and back. Four, three, two, one, woo! And relax. Well done, everybody. That's certainly one way to start my Saturday morning off. So, let's come up and go with a little bit of stretching. Dog's still asleep, that's it. Nobody's awake at like the moment. And stretch it out. I think he's getting used to the fact he wants to go out a bit later than there. Oh, is it rain? dark out there. And let's get those arms stretched out. Yeah, speak of the devil. Oh, he's coming to say hello, look. Oh, good morning, Betty. Me. Yeah, we called you the old dog then. Hold it there. That's not really a good place to sit. <laughs> get your head out. And come up, take that arm over. You've just come for a starring roll, have you? I'm just looking out there thinking, why haven't you taken me out there yet? So, remember, subscribe, hit like, look at the other classes I've got on offer. This is number 11 body tones, so there's 11 body tones, 11 legs, thumbs, and tongues. Give them all a try. There are some mature movers. Don't think that's just for people who want to sit on the chairs. There's quite a lot of movement in it. So stay safe, stay well, look after yourself, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.